Alright guys, this is going to be a full guide on how to set up GameCube games on your Wii using Nintendo. I'm going to show you how to set up Nintendo and your games along with it. I'm going to set up the Nintendo channel on your Wii menu. And of course, I'm going to show you the optimal settings for Nintendo. So what you need for this guide is your homebrewed Wii. We are doing a Wii, not the virtual Wii. And you'll need the SD card or USB drive that you used to homebrew it and if you don't have one of those set up already it does need to be formatted as FAT32. If you have your GameCube games on an SD card it will allow you to play those through USB Loader GX but if you have a USB drive you will not be able to do that so SD cards are the way to go for this one. But again if you're not going to be wanting to play it through USB Loader GX it doesn't matter you can still play your games. Alright with that out of the way let's get started. So linked down below is a Google Drive page. This is going to have everything we need to get started and as I mentioned before in the disclaimer this is for the Wii the process is similar to the Wii U's virtual Wii but the downloads are different and the custom iOS's are different as well so please refer to that playlist my Wii U playlist for anything to do with the V Wii of course it's always recommended to have a NAND backup just in case but this guide is very safe so you shouldn't have too much to worry about as always happy modding so let's get started with the downloads we're gonna go to the Nintendo app and that's gonna take us to this page where you can scroll down and get the Nintendo zip file. So click download on that one. You can exit that page. Next up is the Nintendo channel. This is the forwarder channel that's gonna be on our Wii menu. Just hit download, exit that page. Next up is our WAD manager. This is YAM Mod Me Edition. Now any WAD manager will work, but this is the recommended. So if you already have one set up, you can skip this, but if you don't, make sure to grab that because we need this to install our forwarder WAD. So scroll down to your YAM Mod Me Edition zip file, click download, exit that page. Next up is D2X CIOS installer. If you guys already have this done, for example, I did this setup in the USB Loader GX setup video, you can skip it, but if you do not have custom iOS's installed, make sure to do this part. So go to DOX CIOS installer zip file and download that. We can exit that page. And next up, we're gonna get these offline WADs. Now, normally you do need internet connection for custom iOS's, but this will allow you to do it without. And even if you have internet connection, this will speed up the process. So come here and click download and we're good to go. You can exit there. And now we are done with the downloads. If you are wondering where to download games, I can't tell you on this video, but if you join my Discord server, you can ask there. That's all I'm gonna say. But we are done with the downloads. We can open up our SD card and of course our download. So my downloads are on the left. My SD card is on the right and let's set it up. So just a reminder, if you have a blank SD card, it does need to be formatted as FAT32. So to check, just right click and hit properties, minus FAT32, we're good. And the setup is exactly the same, whether you have a blank SD card or a full one like I do. So let's get started by opening up Nintendo. This is a zip file, so you will need an extraction software like 7-Zip or WinRAR. But we're gonna highlight apps and controllers. You can highlight both by holding control, pressing both of them. Drag them onto the root of your SD card. Once they're on, we can exit the zip file and delete it from our computer. Open up Yom Me and just grab the apps folder and drag it onto the root of your SD card. That's all good. We can exit and delete. Open up D2X CIOS installer and again grab this apps folder and drag it to the root of your SD card. Exit the zip file and delete it. Open up the updated CIOS wads. This one, we are going to go inside of this first folder and highlight all four of these and drag them onto the root of your SD card. Those are good, we can exit and delete. And lastly is our forwarder WAD. There's one extra step for this one, we need a WAD folder on the root of our SD card. So if you don't already have a WAD folder like I do, just create a new folder and type WAD and you will be set. So just grab your Nintendo WAD and put it inside of your WAD folder, yes. And that is it for the downloads. I'm gonna delete the WAD, keep my computer a little bit more clean. We are good for that. And now is time to set up the games. So in order to set up the games, we need a new folder on our SD card root. So create a new folder and just type in games, all lowercase, make sure you spell it correctly. And we are good. Go inside, 
So if you guys have watched my dolphin video, you'll know that I have a hard drive with my games. That is on this smash like hard drive under games and we in GameCube. So here are where I have my games for GameCube. If you right click, you can go to properties and right here, disk image file dot ISO. That's what we want or CISO also works. Again, I can't tell you where to get them in this video, but feel free to join the discord server and ask there. But all I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight all of my GameCube games and just drag them into my games folder but there are a few more steps once we have them in there. All right, they are transferred over, and now we need to create a folder for each game. So let's create a new folder and just type the game name. So let's start off with Super Mario Sunshine, grab the corresponding game, put it inside, open that folder, and we are gonna rename this to game, just like that. Now Super Mario Sunshine is fully set up. So I'm gonna do the same thing for these games. Boom, just like that, all of my games are set up. So it's quick and easy and doesn't take too much. Just make sure you have the correct region game and you should be pretty easily able to set them up. But there we go, our SD card is fully set up. We have our app, we have our WAD, we have our games. So I will meet you over on the Wii. Eject. All right, and we're over on the Wii. We are gonna get a forwarder channel just like this one for USB Loader GX, but for Nintendo. But stay tuned if you wanna play your GameCube games from USB Loader GX, it's pretty slick. But let's get started with GameCube. Let's go into the homebrew channel. And once you're in the homebrew channel, we are gonna start off by going into D2X CIOS installer. Again, if you've already done this part, you can skip this. You only ever have to do this once, but if you have not, make sure you do this otherwise the games won't work so let's go into our ios installer click load press any button once you get to the screen and now we are going to install the ios's mine is red because i have done this before but i will be able to install them again to show you on the settings on the top go right on the d-pad to v11 beta 1 go down to cios base change it to 38 Go to CIOS slot and go left one for 248 and CIOS revision, go to 65535 by going all the way to the right. Once you have these settings, click A, click A again, and it should begin downloading. And it's good, press A to continue, and there are three more iOS's to install. So you leave the top one the same on V11 beta one, change the base to 56, change the slot to 249, and keep the bottom revision the same as well. Press A, press A again, and it will install the second one. Once it's completed, press A to continue. We're gonna change the base to 57 and the slot to 250. Press A, press A again. One more to go, we're gonna change the base to 58 and the slot to 251. Press A, press A to install the last iOS. And once that one's done, you can press B and exit the custom iOS installer. We are now finished with that, so you can scroll over. And as you can see, Nintendo is right here. Now you can certainly load into Nintendo from this app, but we are gonna set up a channel on your Wii menu so that you don't have to. So if you go over to Yom Mod Me Edition, we can load that one up and we'll install the channel. Now everything I have is on my SD card, so I'm gonna select Wii SD slot, but if yours is on your USB drive, just use the D-pad and go over to USB. But press A on the storage device that you are using, and it will load into your WAD folder. As you can see, there is our Nintendo forwarder, so we're gonna select A on that one, and A to install the WAD. Press any button to continue, and press the home button. All right, press the home button again from the homebrew channel and we'll go back to the system menu and check out our new channel. There it is. We got Nintendo right on our homepage. So let's load it up. It's beautiful. Start it up. And there we go. It might take a little bit longer. It is currently creating new files. One of them is the NinBin file on your SD card. So at this point, I'm plugging in my Wii Classic controller. It's also really good to have a GameCube controller, but you can also use a Wiimote and Nunchuck. Select whichever device you have your games on. In my case, it's SD, so I'll press A on SD. And there we go. We have all of the games that we added. 
And if you have physical discs for GameCube, you can also boot the physical disc from the disc drive. I just said disc a lot. Anyway, before we get started, just press B for the settings and there's some things we need to change. If you want to save your game, go down to the fourth option for mem card emulation and press A and it should turn it on. This will allow you to save your games. If you do have a real memory card for GameCube, you can plug that into your Wii and use that instead. <laughs> train people who watch my stream will understand now that is pretty much the main settings you need to change just go back by pressing the home button select it again and just press a on whichever game you want to play so let's do super mario sunshine press a to load it up and you'll be good to go but there you go you're now playing your favorite gamecube games however there is another step if you have usb loader gx set up I'm going to show you how to play your GameCube games from there instead. So you can have your Wii and GameCube games all together. So I'm going to exit the game. I'll meet you back at the Wii menu and we'll start from there. So let's go into USB Loader GX and uh, we'll get the GameCube games showing up on there along with your Wii games. It's a pretty nice touch. Alright, so we're on USB Loader GX. I have my Wii game showing up. These are just different ROM hacks if you're wondering why they are all the same. But we're going to go into settings go over one to custom paths and we're going to scroll down until we see gamecube options the main gamecube path we're going to click on it you should see your sd we're going to select games and that's where the games are don't select the games just make sure you're on sd slash games press ok path changed we're good sd gamecube path is the same sd slash games double check that your nintendo loader path is apps slash nintendo and we are good there press back now go back to the first page and click on loader settings and we're going to scroll down and you should see gamecube settings so gamecube source should be kept at auto gamecube mode we want to make sure it says nintendo if you want you can turn your progressive patch on Keep scrolling down until you see Nintendo settings right here. You'll be able to change the settings that you are also able to change in the Nintendo app. So if you already made the changes in your Nintendo app, you're good. It should be fine. But that is basically it for your USB loader GX settings. So if we go back, back again. Lastly, we need to click on the fourth icon and make sure GC games are selected. So check mark that, press OK. And boom, there we go. We got our GameCube game showing up right beside our Wii games. So let's try loading into it from here. Press start, and it should be good. But there you have it guys, that is how you fully set up your GameCube games on your Wii. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you could like the video, it does help me out a lot. If you did run into any issues, comment down below and I can try to get back to you, or you can join my Discord server and we can try to help you there. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>